37. Very beautiful psalm, yeah? Psalm 37. Yeah, you can see it uh, one by one. Psalm 37. Psalm 37, do not fret because of an evil man. What does it mean, fret? Don't worry about uh, this uh, evil man or envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like a green plant, they will soon die away. Have you seen some wicked men around you? <laughs> you never seen? I saw plenty. Plenty. But especially these wicked men surround you and then actually damage your life. There's more hurt. I don't want to, I pray to your Lord, help me. I don't want to see this kind of people. But because I preach the gospel, unfortunately I see that this kind of people. You understand? Apostle Paul, he preached the gospel and then wicked people to come and try to attack him, kill him. David, he Follow the Almighty God, man of the Gachat, and uh, even his son, Absalom. Absalom tried to kill him. Is anybody, your children, try to kill you? This <laughs> 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 is very, very is uh, painful. This is uh, the Psalm of David, actually. I still remember many, many years ago around 15 or 20 years ago, I invited my mommy and my daddy <coughs> to show the all the Europe, European country, around the nine countries in the uh, 10 days trip. And then I find a very big <coughs> uh, travel agency in central London, the Korean travel agency near the Boxer Bridge. And then 50 people join, including my father and mother. They go for you know, European, European country. And then half of the journey finished around the four, five days journey. Another three, four days is still remain. But my mother called me from some I think Switzerland. She called me. <coughs> All the 50 people become homeless. Because the travel agency, the guide and the owner leave all these 50 people in the middle of the nowhere. <coughs> that is a it's a criminal case. And uh, my mother is she's a very, you know, my mother is a very talkative person. You know what my mother did? She, every the owner ran away and she, she holding the, she holding the, uh, the, the guide, the young guide, and don't run away from us because we couldn't speak English. You couldn't speak any language. They are all the older people, 60, 70, 80, older the people, they couldn't speak. And you know what happened? My my mother holding her, and then she used the credit card. She's she spent I don't know, almost a, a, around seven to eight thousand pounds. She spent all the money to buy the ticket. Everybody come back to home in England. And they, during the journey, the this holiday is a terrible mess, cancer. And then, you know what was happening? I ask you, the owner of the, the, the travel agency, I ask him, I think you need to <coughs> refund for all the people because they couldn't. Some people in Korean culture, if somebody 70 years old and 80 years old, they just bless them with uh, like the holiday, some, some, some kind of, uh, you know, some trips. But all parents, these people, very, very upset. And then these 50 people, do you know what they do? They, their children and their families, they arrange and they, they want to make a leader to sue the, this, uh, this uh, trouble agency. Do you know who will become a leader? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm the one, <laughs> because I'm son. Yeah, and then I'm the, I'm the uh, leader of the, all these people. And then I ask them, Please refund for only just a half price, something like that. But he didn't, want, he didn't want to do it. It's very wicked, very wicked. You know what was happening? These people, they reported the media and newspaper, and Korean newspaper in the UK, Korean, Korean Weekly, what, what? Korean Weekly, Korean Weekly, and all over, even South Korean media. 
And then, foreign minister, no. I know the one governor, one governor report to the, actually his governor's mother is a good friend of my mother. And this governor report to the whom? The foreign minister. Foreign minister uh, report to the ambassador in, in London, Korean ambassador. And Korean ambassador rebuked that guy. And do you know what happened? That is already report to the police in South Korea. I was just uh, praying. I was praying, praying, according to the scripture. Do not fret because of evil. He was a very evil man. Do you know when I speak to him, he tried to, he tried to punch me like this. <laughs> <laughs> I said to him, you can, you can, you can do it. <laughs> do it. Why you don't do it? <laughs> because in UK, if you punch, you big trouble. Yeah. Let them beat you. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, if they beat, and then they end up in prison in in UK, and more trouble, or more trouble. But he didn't beat me. And then you know, I, I don't worry about uh, this uh, evil man. And then this is envious of those who do it long. He made a lot of money, like this cheating the customer. So many people cry. Many, not even, not only 50 people, but a year ago, six months ago, two years ago, so many people, they have similar that the trouble. I never knew, but uh, many people report on this paper. And guess what, Jeff? And then this owner and his wife came to me around 11 o'clock in the evening. They're begging me, Pastor Paul, help me, help me now we may go back to Korea and go to prison. And uh, even this uh, big company, this travel agency will close down. I said, don't beg in me. You saw him, what you see, and then uh, you leave. It's not out of my hand now. Because of a look, foreign minutes already involved. Ambassador already involved. Prosecutor in the court is already involved. Police involved. Now it's not out of my hand. Guess what, Jeff? The huge company closed down, and then they went to Korea. I don't know if they, they get some sentence or not, I don't know. But I saw that these terrible, wicked people, evil people, yeah? When you live in this world, uh, some people are so evil, isn't it? But what shall you do? This is the best prayer. If uh, somebody, evil man, come to you and then uh, damage your life, uh, and then uh, just uh, pray like this, oh God, I'm singing and worshiping you according to Psalm 37. Psalm 37 speak about the evil man and then good man, the righteous man. Do you understand? What should we do? Look, verse 3, this is our job, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe, pastor. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you desire of your heart. What does it mean, delight yourself in the Lord? Delight yourself in the Lord. What does it mean? Yeah. Joy of the Lord is your strength. Can you rejoice because of Jesus? Can you rejoice because of Jesus? Yeah. Can I ask something? You just become a born again and you just receive the one million pound in cash. Which is more joyful? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, most of the people, oh, I don't care, born again or not. <laughs> Money. This is the main problem. Do you understand? Because you already, you know, touched the more than one million pound for you is okay. But some people, oh, they don't know. They don't know. But this is a but delight yourself in the Lord because of Jesus. Can you rejoice? Yeah. How many of you wake up in the morning with a joyful, joyful heart? Very good, well done, well done. When you wake up, oh, another day coming. Oh. <laughs> Don't speak like that. Don't feel like that. How do you feel when you go for a picnic on that day morning? We go on that day. You wake up with joyful. You, you made a very nice plan to go to a holiday. Yeah? Even you couldn't sleep properly actually because it's exciting. Yeah? How many of you are very excited when you wake up in the morning? I do. Very good. When you wake up in the morning, 
pretty excited because of Jesus. Can you say to each other, because of Jesus, I wake up very excited in the morning. Say to each other, because of Jesus, I wake up very excited in the morning. Yeah. When I was preaching in front of a Wimbledon station on Monday, some guy said, Monday today. <laughs> Monday. What's wrong with you, Monday? <laughs> Do you know what people thought Monday means? So tired, stressful, and then, oh, oh burden. That kind of express. Yeah? And then when I was preaching in front of uh, Wilco, the, my friend Wilco sleeping in front of the uh, gate. Time to sleep! <laughs> in the same day in the morning. <laughs> I said, time to listen to the word of God. <laughs> you are very blessed because in the morning you listen to the word of God. He was laughing. <laughs> he understand what I'm saying. Is it good news or bad news? At 7.30 in the morning, somebody preaching in front of you. Good news. Good news. It's a good news. But delight in the delight uh, yourself in Christ Jesus. He will give you desire of your heart. Do you have any desire? Rejoice. 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 Who is the one who's singing in the prison? Can you sing? Can you dancing in the miserable, miserable prison, miserable night? Painful, bleeding. You may say, oh, like this. Oh. <laughs> this morning, early in the morning, one brother, people six o'clock, he called me, Pastor Paul, now I have a big temptation to kill myself. I wake up and I pray, seriously. I kick him out. And I thought, come, come morning service. He came to morning service this morning. And he was not well this morning. Eh? Very bad, very bad condition. And even he tried to jump from here. <laughs> And then when you're singing on the street, uh, preaching uh, in the, uh, near, near the train station, there's a bridge, he wants to jump. I said, don't, don't jump, don't jump. No, no, no. Not try to kill yourself. And then he said, oh, Pastor Paul, I can hear some voice of Satan. But here, 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 here. You know what I did? I touched his ear. In Jesus' name, kick out. I pray, pray. He said, oh, oh. He said, don't say, oh, say, hallelujah. So he said, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Do you understand? We don't against the flesh and the blood. I told him, come out from that church. His pastor not believe the John six John chapter fourteen verse six. Anybody know John fourteen six? Jesus say, I am the way and through that life. No one come to the Father. Can you imagine? His pastor not believe. If if you go to that church, the pastor not believe that message, do you think you still go there? No way! This is a core, core gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. He put the pastor not believe the John chapter 14 verse 6. And he say, I say to him, don't go there. And he said, no, Pastor Paul, I, my, uh, my mission to change the pastor, to, to preach the gospel. But instead of changing the pastor, he is the one to attack the by demons. I told him to come out. Very dangerous. If a pastor not believe the scripture, something wrong. Verse 5, commit your way to the Lord and trust in him and he will do this. Can you commit your way to the Lord? Yeah? Commit your way to the Lord. Commit your way to the Lord. It's very, very important. Commit your way to the Lord. And he will do this. He will make your righteous shine like the dawn, justice of your cause like the noonday sun. You know, Psalm 37, if you have any enemy or somebody persecute you or hurt you and despise you, go to the Psalm 37. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. And do not pray when men succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain their from anger and turn from wrath. And do not pray, it leads only to evil. For evil men will be what? Verse eight, verse nine. Sorry, will evil man will be cut off, cut off. For evil man will be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. Hallelujah, amen. amen. Evil man will be cut off. This is not my word. This is the word of God. Amen. Yeah, yeah. 
will send a little while and the wicked will no more. Through you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land uh, and enjoy great peace. Can you enjoy the great peace? Can you say to each other, because you are like just a man, you enjoy the great peace, say to each other. Because you are like just a man, you enjoy the great peace. Great peace, wonderful peace, amazing peace. Peace be with you. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them. But, look, but the Lord laughs at the wicked, <laughs> for the knows their day is coming. What kind of day? Judgment day and cut off day. They cut off. Cut off. The wicked draw the sword and the bend the bow to bring down the poor and need and slay those who ways are upright. But their sword will pierce their own heart, and their bowels will be broken. Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked. Do you understand? Some wicked people, they have plenty of people, plenty of things. A poor man, but still righteous, is wonderful. And I, I know the one Korean lady, she, she's working, she's cleaner in the big, big house. You know, work in the multi millionaire's house. And do you know what she does? From her, her job is a, from you know, office hour, morning to the afternoon. She's working, and they're cleaning the house. House is a, maybe around 10 million pounds. Big, big house in America. Ten, ten, over 10 million pounds. Huge, swimming pool, everything. Do you know what she does? She enjoys the house. That couple, most of multi, like multi million family, they come there around two or three days per month. But 26 days, 27 days, she is the one to using the whole house, swimming, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> Can you imagine? Somebody make a lot of money to supporting for her. She <laughs> enjoy the house, swimming, everything. Everything. Do you understand? A wicked man. Don't worry about the wicked man, successful or whatever. Just, uh, just have mercy on them. Yeah. And look, um, verse seventeen. For power of the wicked will be what broken, but the Lord uphold the righteousness. Righteous power of the wicked will be broken. The day of blameless are known to the Lord. Their inheritance will endure forever and more. I remember around uh, 45, almost, I was a child. I was a six, seven years old child. And all our small, in our villages, surrounded a mountain in the, in the south of South Korea. And then in that, in that area, most of the poorest woman, the widow, but she is a very strong Christian. Very poor woman, but very strong Christian. Very strong Christian. But she has got only one son. Do you know what happened? This woman is old. And then later, her house is the best house in that area. Why? Because her son, her son is a pilot of an airplane. There's a cargo that carry the baggage, all these things. Like the one son in every two months or three months, Huge airplane come near to our mountain. I think that is uh, in these days illegal, but that time is uh, they can fly. And you know what happened? Her son greeting to uh, his mommy. A huge airplane come close to our mountain, two times a fly. Everybody come out and <laughs> like a movie. <laughs> and then my mother encouraging me, you see. The son honor his mother. I was very inspired. I still remember. Okay, one day, one day when I grown up, I can do something for my mother, <laughs> my father. Everybody respected this old woman. She was a wonderful born again Christian. Can you imagine her son greeting to his mother from the sky? Two times of flying. <coughs> And then I remember, you know, the Lord uphold the righteous. He's born again. 
I was a very strong Buddhist at that time. But my mother told me, look at the, the crazy Christian, but his son is doing very well, and they're greeting to his mother like that. <coughs> and verse 18, the days of blameless known to the Lord and in it will endure forever. In the time of disaster, they will not wither. The, in the days of famine, they will enjoy plenty. Can you imagine? Days of what? Famine, they will enjoy what? Plenty. Can you say amen? What Jesus prophesied about the end time, there is famine. Do you know that? Famine will come in the last day. There is an earthquake in various places. There is a rumor of war. Yeah? That is in end time. But I think how many of you, how many of you enjoy, enjoy plenty? Yeah, Brother Mark said, no, I'm full, plenty, plenty, I'm full. <laughs> it's no more food. And uh, we have, a, I saw the brand new African style cloth. If anybody needs African style cloth, please, uh, you can, you can have it. You have it over there. And then, uh, and you know, somebody gave us a new cloth. And then it's already plenty, plenty. It's not wonderful news. In the day of what? Famine. In the day of famine. And you say to each other, in the day of famine, you will enjoy plenty. Say to each other, in the day of famine, you will enjoy the plenty. Amen. Amen. This is our God. Verse 20. But the wicked will perish. The Lord's enemy will be like the beauty of the field. They will vanish. Vanish like a smoke. Burn. Disappear. It's gone. The wicked borrow and do not repay. But the righteous give generously. Do you understand? Have you seen the wicked people surround you? Somebody borrow from you and they never pay back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Nearly more than you so many. But for me, you know, whatever I have, if somebody comes to me, I just bless them. You know, I don't try to um, lend them, just bless them. You know, righteous will uh, give generously. And then told you, the Lord bless will inherit the land, but told you he curse will be cut off. Yes? And you are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Those you are cursed, they will cut off. Do you know? You always, you know, God put the four things in. Life and curse and blessing and curse. Choose what? Life choose life and blessing. Don't choose the curse and them and then the curse and then that. How can you choose the that and curse? How? Thank you very much. It's a very clear answer. How can you choose the that and curse? Disobedient. Disobedient. I talked to the brother brother steward before I come here. If somebody yeah, disobey continually, you know what I say? Please, brother, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah? I, 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 I just rebuke you very gently and correctly. Do you understand? But he never listen. And then if God rebuke him, what will happen? Very hurt, very painful. Do you understand? Sometimes, two times, God allow people to correct you, rebuke you, you know, training you, good for you. But if you not listen to spiritual leader, what will happen? If God correct them, correct you directly, it's very, very painful. Very, very painful. How many understand what I'm talking about? Yeah? Do you understand? We need each other. If you, if you, if you, uh, if you, David not repent of the sins when David, uh, when Nathan telling the truth. Yeah? If David so arrogant, no. I'm okay. Nathan, what's wrong with you? If David killed Nathan, <laughs> what would happen? I think David died on that day. Thanks be to God. God sent somebody to tell him the truth. And then David listened. Yes, I come to say he repented. He said he was fasting for three days. Even the what is the wage of sin? Yes. Death. 
he committed adultery with Bathsheba and then first the boy, baby. He survived or died? died. Who is the second baby? Solomon. Solomon become. Do you understand? Therefore, God sent the Nathan to your life. Is it good news or bad news? Good news. Good news. Can you say to each other, I'm uh, your spiritual Nathan? Say to each other, I'm your spiritual Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say, teacher, thank you, you are my spiritual letter. Say, teacher, thank, thank you, you are my spiritual letter. Good for each other. Do you understand? Yeah? Cain killed his younger brother, Abel. Pase. Cain, where is your brother, Abel? What did he say? Am I brother's keeper? I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, he is the brother's keeper. He should look after him. He should care for him, support him for him. Yeah. Look at the verse uh, uh, twenty. Yeah, twenty-three. If the Lord delight in a man's way, he make his step firm. You see. Throw his tremble, he will not fall. But the Lord uphold him with his hand. Can you say Amen? amen. If the Lord God delight in you. Anybody knows that God delight in you? Yeah? Do you know how much God delight to you? If you look at the Zephaniah. Zephaniah. Do you know where is Zephaniah? Chapter 3, verse 17. Zephaniah, chapter, chapter 3, verse 17. I can read for you. Zephaniah is before the Haggai. Chapter 3, verse 17 say, The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. Can you imagine? He will take great delight in you, my dear brothers and sisters. He will quiet you with his love. And he will rejoice over you with what? Who's, who's singing? singing? Yeah? God. You or God? God. God? Can you imagine? God, had, God has got great delight in you. And God is swimming. God is singing. Do you know that? Yeah. Because of you. Can you say to each other, God is, uh, sorry, God take a great delight in you. Say to each other, God take a great delight in you. God is so happy because of you. Amen. 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 <laughs> because of you, God uh, take great delight in you. And then God will rejoice over you with his singing. It's not wonderful. Yeah. We know that we sing for Jesus, yeah. But can you imagine God is singing because of you? You are so blessed. You know, when Stephen died by stone, first the martyr in the early church is Stephen. When Stephen died, what is the position of Jesus? Jesus always sit on the right hand of God. He sit on the chair, yeah? Why he stand up? Yeah? He delight him and respect him. Can you imagine? Somebody died. Somebody entered the heaven and Jesus cannot sit down on the chair. He stood up and welcomed him. Welcome him. That kind of honor. Jesus, the creator, almighty God, he cannot sit down on the chair when the Stephen entered the heaven. How many believe that when you die, Jesus stand up for you? Amen. You believe that? Yeah? I believe that. You know, I saw this vision. You know, six or seven gangsters in, in Waterloo. I was preaching under the Waterloo Bridge. Do you know, seven, and, seven, seven or eight gangsters come to me, the metal bar and wooden stick, they beat all my body. When they beating me, I saw the visions, how Stephen died. And I saw Jesus stand up. When Jesus stood up like this for 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 Stepan, do you know that was my prayer? Do you know what was I pray? Oh God, through my life, oh Jesus, you can stand there many, many times. God, listen to my prayer. Because I pray like this, through my life, uh, you can stand up from chair many times. And I almost died for 13 times. <laughs> if I didn't pray like that, I didn't have that kind of suffering and persecution and hardship. I pray to God. When Jesus stood, stand up, when? 
when you were so touching and inspired by your life and his tender for you. Yeah? And look, go back to the Psalm 37, verse 24. Through his trumpet he will not fall, for the Lord uphold him with his hand. I was young, and now I am old. Who said that? David. He was a young shepherd boy. Now he's a king. I'm old now. And I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. Can you imagine? If you're a righteous man and your children will follow your step, they're never begging the bread. God will look after them, protect them, and provide for them. They are always uh, generous and the land freely. Their children will be blessed. If you continue to bless the Lord and bless others, I am guarantee your children will be very blessed in Jesus' name. Amen? I saw. I saw. Because I saw your parents. I saw the parents. You doing, you're sowing the seed for the glory of the Lord. And uh, your children uh, will be blessed. Turn from evil and do good. Then you will dwell in the land forever. Yeah? Turn from evil and do good. Overcome evil with what? Good. With the good. Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Yeah? It's easy. 12, opposite what? 21. Romans 12, verse 21. Overcome evil with the good. With the good. Yeah? And then, uh, and 28. For the Lord loves just and will not forsake his faithful ones. They will be protected forever. But the offspring of the wicked will be cut up. You know, Bible speaks about the wicked people cut up, cut up, cut up so many times and disappear. It's a withdrawal. It's gone. It's like smoke. It's gone. 29. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous man utters wisdom. You know, speak to wisdom, righteous man. And his tongue speak what is just. God is God of justice. He's a righteous God. He he doing justly. Do you know them in any circumstance? Sometimes you don't understand, but you can say to God, in my circumstance, one thing I do know, you are right. Can you say Amen? amen. Yeah, God is right. All the times, Amen. amen. Therefore, God is good. Sometimes uh, you are look like the, it's uh, very, very hot. I know the one of a Korean pastor, Pastor Park. He's one of my best friends in South Korea. Whenever I go to Korea, he gives his room. <laughs> I said, don't do it. He's a very famous man. Powerful Methodist pastor. He's a wonderful man of God. Do you know what he does? He look at, the, he look at the, some gangsters, orphans and vulnerable people. And one day, one day, one, around 11 or 12 years old, a little girl laid by her older brother. Can you imagine? This, this family hasn't got the father and mother. This older brother sexually abused her, her younger, younger daughter, yeah, so younger sister. And the pastor, Pa, he looked at this girl. And she grew, and then she, before they go to university, she was 18 or 19, grown up. And guess what happened? She was missing for 10 days. Mm. And then he reported the police and the school was looking for her. And 10 days later, she, uh, Pastor Park received a phone call from school. When she went to the school, guess what happened? Her hair is uh, terrible, at least. And then she went to Pastor, Pastor, Kang, Pastor Park, entered the, 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 the office. And she said to the headmaster or the school teachers, he is the one. She already spoke to school teachers. Somebody raped me. Hmm. Sexually raped me, and then there is one my body like this. And do you know what Pastor Park did? His grandfather is like a holy man in South Korea. Grandfather is a, his grandfather was a pastor in the 19th century. Wonderful man of God. 
We know what Pastor uh, Park's grandfather said to him. Three things. Number one, number one, if you don't, if you nobody love that person, you are able to love that person. Number one message. Number two, it is impossible to, to forgive that person, but you are able to forgive that person. Number three, don't try to make excuse. Don't try to depend if somebody will just do it. And then he almost said, I didn't lay poor, I didn't do anything. You almost speak, but he remember what his grandfather said. He kept quiet. And guess what happened? School sue him and then put him in the prison. Do you know in sex sex offender is terrible, especially if the young girl. And then you know what was happening? Two weeks before he go to the court and get the sentence. And this young girl, do you know what she does? She was uh, raping again by her older brother again. Her older brother, you know, he, he was serving in the Korean military army. He come out from the he for holiday, for 10 days holiday, he find uh, his younger sister and sleep together again. And then she was scaring because of, uh, if she tell everything to the police, her brother will go to prison. That is why she blamed the pastor. Can you imagine, pastor, all the, in Korea, I mean, UK, every, every country, if you, <clears throat> if you leave somebody, end up, your life will end up, finish actually. But he didn't say anything. But he telling the truth to headmaster, everybody. Guess what happened? All those, in the beginning, school is a F word, a terrible in the beginning. You pastor, you are, you going to stay in the prison, blah, 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 all these things. But he didn't say anything. Like Jesus, he died on the cross. He said, it is finished. He didn't, he didn't call the angel of the Lord to kill the Roman soldiers. I knew him. And then all school, headmaster, all school teachers, they are so sorry for him. And they changed their mind. If he knows this thing, he should tell us. They're like that. And they apologize to a pastor. And then everybody knows about this story. And even teenager girls at that same school, they have the rumor the pastor is like a holy, holy, holy pastor, <laughs> holy man. <laughs> is the, you know, almost he go to prison, but he kept quiet. Why? Because he wanted supporting for this uh, little girl, teenager girl. A few years ago, I went there, and then she's grown over 20. And then, and around the 10 people, 10 or 15 people surround in the big living room, and I and Pastor Park sit down, and he told me he, she is the one. She, oh, final year of university. And she, uh, he asking her, what do you want in your future? And she said, Pastor Park, I want to be a sec sec secretary <laughs> for your ministry, like that. This is almighty God. I thank you to God, how God uh, using him. And God changed me. He used to be a medical doctor. He has got a big, big hospital. Do you know what he did? He sold it. <laughs> and I think it's a, uh, around a four, around a four, four million dollar he gave to the poor people. And he live in the um, holy life. He's a wonderful man of God. He is a wonderful man of God. But God using him. Somebody fix their eyes on Jesus and God use him. He is the one to the great you know, revivalist in South Korea, actually. Wonderful man of God. I respect him very much. When I invite him to come to London, do you know how many Koreans are gathering together in, this, in the conference? Over 400. <laughs> not many times 400 Koreans are gathering together. In London, not many people are gathering. But over 400 Korean Christians <coughs> gathering together and listen to the, the message. If you look at the uh, verse uh, yeah, 30, the mouth of righteous man utters wisdom. And his tongue speaks what is just. The love is God in his heart, you see? The word of God is in his heart. And his feet not sleep. And the wicked lie and what wait for the righteous, seeking their very lives. But the Lord will not leave them in their power or let them be condemned. 
when brought to the trial. Wait for the Lord and keep His way. Amen. Amen. Can you say to each other, wait for the Lord and keep His way? Say to each other, wait for the Lord and keep His way. He will exalt you in, uh, to the inheritance of the land. When the wicked are cut off, you will see it. You see? When the wicked are cut off, you will see. You will see it. You will see. It. And then I have seen a wicked man, a ruthless man, flourishing like a green tree in a native soil, but soon passed away and was no more. Though I looked for him, he could not be found. Look like he's doing well, like a green tree, but native soil. Terrible. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah? It's gone. And consider the blameless. Observe the of light. There is a fruit for the man of peace. Are you a man of peace, yeah? You are a man of peace. You are a peacemaker. You can see the fruit. In your life, but all the sinner will be destroyed. Future of the wicked will be cut off. Can you see that? Wicked men cut off, destroy is gone. What the Bible say? The salvation of light just comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in a time of trouble. Amen. The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in Him. You recognize God is your strong tower, is your shield, your what? Your refuge, your everything. Therefore, He will protect you. He will save you. He will deliver you from wicked and from darkness. Is not wonderful news? Psalm 37 is a beautiful, beautiful scripture. But you remember, please uh, meditate this word of God and then put it into your practical life. <clears throat> one day I know that one English guy, he was working in Africa as a missionary. And you know, I saw the, some wicked things. You know, because of his white man, white English man. He married three times in short time. When he married three times with an African girl, young African girl, young, and young African girl conceived a baby. Do you know, baby is a mixed race. I told him, I called him, brother, what's wrong, what's wrong with you? I rebuke him. And do you know what happened? He go to the street and he smoked the marijuana with the street boys in Africa. Kenya and Uganda, these two countries. I was very angry. And he came back to UK. When, I, when he came back to UK, I, I went to his house. You evil man. If you die today, you go to hell. Do you know what he said? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know he said, I don't care. He never feels God. I don't care. I don't mind. I can go to hell. He said, be like this. I almost punched him, actually. He said, so wicked. I said, you went to Africa as a missionary, but you're sleeping with many, many women, and many women conceived the baby through you. And you, you, no, he didn't go to the Ghana, just to let you know that. And <laughs> he's smoking marijuana on the street with street boys. Terrible, terrible. You know who talking about, yeah? Yeah, in the Brixton area, he used to preach on the street. And then I live with him. And I told him, if you die, you go to hell, brother. And I live with him, he said, I don't care. I don't believe there's a heaven and hell, he said. I don't believe in Jesus, he said. He used to preaching the word of God. In London. Very sad. Very sad. I thought he died and he got the uh, hair. And then I think last year I called him. He didn't die. He's still in this world. Why do you still live in this world? I thought you already got the hair. And, 
And then I say to you, you, you still not believe in Jesus now? And he said, first of all, I repent my sins. He repented his sins. The mercy of the Lord come upon you. You understand? You know, I saw many, many people. Some people start with the spirit, but finish by flesh. Yeah. You know, in Korea is a very famous man, very powerful preacher, but he committed adultery. Committed adultery. Have you heard about the Panel Pentecost Church in Brentwood? Mike Reed. Have you heard about that? No. Mike Reed is a very famous. He was he's top ten biggest church in, in UK. Over thousand members. Over two thousand the beginning. Big, big church. <coughs> I had lunch together with him. And he doesn't believe that. Uh, anybody knows uh, James chapter 4 verse 7? Submit to God and this is the devil. And devil free from you. He doesn't believe. He say, 2,000 years ago, Jesus already you know, finished the uh, you know, uh, job. He said, it is finished. He already defeated the enemies. Therefore, we don't need to listen to the devil. I said, no, you need to listen to the devil. He's a terrible preacher. And then every Christmas Eve time, his, his church, the choir is a very strong, 125 choir members. One day I invited the choir to come to Lambert Town Hall and they're singing and worshiping. All 500 people gathering together at the time. The BBC invited this choir to singing live on Christmas Eve before the midnight, before the, the Christmas day. Very famous worship team. And he didn't believe about the Lysis of Devil. He didn't believe. You know, I say, because of he and myself who argue, and then he didn't believe my, my doctrine to Lysis of Devil. It's not my doctrine, it's what the Bible says. This is the devil. How many believe that this is the devil? Yeah? You need to this is the devil. Can you high five each other? This is the devil. Devil flee from you. Say to each other. This is the devil. Devil flee from you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Kick out this. This is the devil. Before this is the devil, submit yourself to the law. Submit. Obey God. Obey God. And yeah, what was happening? He committed adultery with the conduct of this choir. For oh, 12 years, 12 years, 12 years, it's top news. The Sun newspaper, or Mail, Daily Mail, all, all newspaper. Even you can Google it, Michael Lead, pastor in Brentwood, you can see. Very famous pastor. Not Penine. Yeah? Penine. Penine, yeah. The church, you know that. Big church. But he ran away, and uh, he, his life finished. Because of, he didn't listen to the devil. You understand? You have to listen to the devil. Devil come to the people, steal, kill, destroy. And then especially, do you know devil has got the, the, the has got the, some, uh, some, some idea how to attack the, the human being? Three area. Lost of, lost of, lost of flesh. Flesh and lust of eyes. And then? Proud of life. Proud of life. Can you imagine 2000, uh, no, before 2000, uh, 6,000 years ago, Satan come to the Garden of Eden, say to Adam and Eve, if you eat the fruit of good and evil, you become like what? Like God. Proud. Actually, God made Adam and Eve in the image of God. Already they have the image of God. But Satan, you become like God. And then 2,000 years ago, Satan came to Jesus. Satan said to Jesus, if you bow down and worship me, I'll give you what? Oh, this is a kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus already is a king of kings. <laughs> he doesn't need this thing. He is an owner. He is a ruler. Amen. He reigns everything. But Satan, if you worship me, bow down. I'll give you proud of life. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kicking out three things. Lost of flesh, lost of eyes. Proud of life in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, Psalm 37. You can see the evil man cut off. Righteous man get the inheritance of the land. 
is a very sad story in the church also. But of course, a wonderful good news in the church. But Psalm 37 is like the same warning message for you and me. Please be careful. Be careful. Also, blessing message. When you choose life, choose blessing, you will prosper. Shall you stand up and you can pray together? Can you lift up a holy hand? And then you don't worry about this evil man anymore. You just uh, obey the word of God, follow Jesus, and you can overcome. You are more than conqueror. Commit your way to the Lord. He will do this. And your shine look like a noonday sun. Yeah? Your ways. You need to trust in Jesus. Don't trust in yourself also. Trust in Jesus. When you trust in Jesus, He will guide you in His perfect way. He will deliver you from dangers and darkness. Just one minute we can pray together. Lord, have mercy on me. I trust in you. Let's pray together. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We trust in Jesus, Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Master, people uh, become oh, evil, so wicked. But you uh, say, the Bible say, the wicked will cut off, and then evil is disappear. But those who are righteous, they get uh, inherit the land. They will uh, be with Jesus and forever and ever. Amen for that. Of course, uh, God be with us right now. Even when you die, we know where you're going. You will be with the Almighty God forever and one more in heaven. We thank you. We don't fear the death. Oh, Lord, help us to obey your will. Uh, choose life and blessing through obedience. We never ever choose the death and curse anymore because of uh, this, uh, our disobedience. No more disobedience in our life. Lord, help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Keep on praying for mission to Korea, mission to Japan, and then God also pray for Korean conference this month, and then pray for evangelism conference by Pastor Stepper from Germany. Thank you. God bless you.